what's good everybody welcome back first thing you guys want to do is go ahead and jack up the car put it on jack stands we are going to be changing upper control alarms rear and front shocks from rough country and we also going to be doing the leveling kit the shocks are from rough country the leveling kit is from this company all right, right here. so once you remove the tire get a 21 millimeter and go ahead and remove this just put it flush with the threads don't take it all the way out most of the times this ball joint right here gets stuck and to get it unstuck you're gonna want to use a hammer and hit it right here on the side make sure you don't hit this uh, ball joint right here or the rubber in case it doesn't come out just go ahead and hit it right here on the top but before make sure it's flush that way you don't mess up the thread for when we put it back on if not you're gonna have to replace that out of the tie rod and it's gonna be a little bit more. All right, so once you remove the auto tar rod, this is the reason why I do remove that first because you can better access the bolts for the caliper. Another thing that I did forget to tell you guys is the little cotter pin the bolts do have. Go ahead and get you 24 millimeter socket. And these two, these are gonna be for right now. We are gonna need some more. So it's a 90 millimeter and then a 21. And then for the caliper, it's gonna be this one. It's a 3 8 I'm pretty sure you can use a different one, but this is the one that I'm using. That one is gonna go right here. Go ahead and remove this one and remove that one as well. Then just put this caliper right here somewhere on the side. The only reason we are removing this one is because we are doing the leveling kit and we gotta drop this uh, lower control arm down and we don't wanna extend this line right here. But if you not doing the leveling kit and only doing the control arm, you don't have to pretty much remove this because you can get the control arm out the way without removing this. Just skip to whatever you need to do, but let's get to it. So remove this one and after that, you're gonna wanna remove Move this uh, shock right here the one for the shock for the lower one is gonna be a 21 and then the top one is gonna be a 19 and another thing before removing the shock or anything else like the control arm or the spring itself you're gonna want to put this jack right here and jack it up a little bit that way whenever you do remove the shock or you do remove the control arm this is still gonna stay in place the spring is not gonna come jumping out to your face or anything like that because it does have a lot of tension so you got to be real careful when you do this job so let's proceed and take out this and this so one thing about this shock in order to remove it use vice grips to hold that nut right there it's just to be able to take it off because if not it's gonna keep spinning this top piece the only way that you're gonna get those vice grips under there is by racing up the truck enough and then give you enough room to put them through here and then just grab it and take it off from the top after you guys remove that go ahead and remove this sway bar link the socket for that is a 15 this vehicle you're gonna want to grab it right here from the middle with the vice grips whenever you grab it from the middle you don't gotta grab it from the top because on these it does have two separate bolts it's not like the other ones that you grab it from the top and then it comes down the whole link under the next step is go ahead and remove this bolt for the control arm i already loosened it up and everything that one is going to be a 21 millimeters same thing with this one put it flush and go ahead and smack it right there once you do that since you already have the truck jacked up a little bit as you guys can see it's already separated i'm gonna go ahead and remove that and then we're gonna be working on removing the bolts to be able to remove the upper control arm the jack on this step you got to be real careful because nothing is really holding that spring it's just the jack holding the pressure up so be real careful whenever you're working on the upper control arm and everything else from this step on all right so the next step is the upper control arm bolts and those bolts are this one and this one I went ahead and remove this one already the way to remove this one is going to be through the top because if you try to remove it here it's not going to give you enough access it's going to be hidden here so just go ahead and do it through the top of the engine and put an extension all the way up there and once again those are 24 millimeters that's one of the easiest control arms that i've done so far go ahead and do that and move it out the way so the next step go ahead and lower down the jack be on the safe side and just lower the jack little by little whenever you are lowering it down if it gets stuck right in the middle don't keep lowering down the jack just kind of smack the soy bar link that way it get unstuck from the top or the bottom wherever it is stuck and continue to lower down the jack here we have the spring and the spacers you put the spacer right here on top line that on the bottom piece you see that little gap right there go ahead and make sure it's lined up if not it's going to give you trouble whenever you are putting it up and then on the control arm you guys are replacing it new control arm you're going to be able to spin it around just like that leave it like that until we are ready to tighten everything up so whenever you put this inside here 
hopefully it is enough space right here if it is that's perfect because sometimes it's not a lot of space and i'll have to jack up the car so it was enough room for me to be able to put the leveling kit without raising up the truck a little bit more and i don't have the rubber piece in there make sure you guys put that lined up what i'm gonna do now is keep jacking up the truck whenever i'm jacking up the truck i'm also gonna install the sway bar link from under don't forget to do the sway bar link now you're gonna have a little bit more trouble later on so I went ahead and put the sway bar link. Another important thing about putting control alarms, these bolts that we took out, pay attention. You see that little mark right there where the bolt was sitting? So you wanna put it exactly right there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I'm gonna put that bolt exactly the same place that it was and do that on this side. Same thing on this one. And these right here, keep them loose for right now. If not, the alignment is gonna be really off. And they're not gonna be able to do the alignment properly. Well, unfortunately for my customer, the shocks that he bought, either he bought the for lifted, like a six inch or so, because the travel on it was not gonna be it. I went ahead and put the original one back. I went ahead and tightened up the ball joint for the troll alarm. Everything's tied up. The last thing that we're gonna do is these bolts right here on the side. What I usually do, go ahead and jack up the truck and i jack it up enough for it to come off the jack stand as you guys can see it's not sitting on it when you do that that's when you want to tighten up these bolts right here and that's pretty much it for the leveling kit the control alarm the sway bar link pretty much everything from the front the only thing that we got to do is the ones for the back but i'm not gonna do that on this video but that's about it for this video i'm gonna put everything back and show you guys the aftermath so that's the finished product right there it looks pretty level and this was a three inch leveling kit i'm not too sure on this customer's vehicle if they had a block on the rear i didn't pay attention to that but a three inch leveling kit will level your truck pretty good if you guys have any questions or anything like that just leave a comment below and i get back to you guys as soon as i can if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button like the video and thank you for watching see you guys in the next video peace